Slim, pixie-like, two-time Tony Award winner Tammy Grimes who put on marvelously quirky cowardesk airs and captivated audiences with her inimitably throaty, raspy voice was actually not British but born in Lynn, Massachusetts, on January 30, 1934, the daughter of Eola Willard, Nay Niles, a naturalist and spiritualist, and Luther Nichols Grimes, an innkeeper, country club manager, and farmer. She attended the all-girls Beaver Country Day School in nearby Chestnut Hill and later received entry at Stevens College in Columbia, Missouri, before relocating to New York for professional acting purposes. Tammy studied at the Neighborhood Playhouse and made her NY debut there in Jonah and the Whale, in 1955. Broadway offers came shortly after, first as a standby for Kim Stanley as Cherie in Bus Stop, in June 1955. In 1956, she appeared in the off-Broadway production, The Littlest Review, performed in a cross-country tour of The Lark, made an Obie-winning appearance in the off-Broadway play, Claire Ambert, and in 1959 nabbed the lead role in Noelle Coward's play, Look After Lulu, on Broadway after the renowned playwright discovered her distinctive style of singing at Julius Monk's Downstairs at the Upstairs Nightclub in New York. She won a Theatre World Award for that. She later was guest star at the New York City Opera in a revival of The Cradle Will Rock, recreating the role of Maul. On the classical side, Tammy starred with the American Shakespeare Festival at Stratford, Connecticut, as Mistress Quickly in Henry IV, and Mopsa in The Winter's Tale, earning the role of the indomitable Rags to Riches, Titanic surviving Molly Brown in the 1960 musical comedy The Unsinkable Molly Brown. Tammy was nothing less than sensational and won a Tony Award as Best Featured Actress in a Musical, due to below the title rules at the time. She followed this with the 1963 play, Rattle of a Simple Man, in 1963. On TV she appeared twice on the popular series, Route 66, and is fondly remembered for her performance in four TV specials, Four for Tonight, with Cyril Richard, Beatrice Lilly and Tony Randall. Hollywood Sings, with Eddie Albert. The Datchet Diamonds, with Rex Harrison and Archie and Mehitable, with Eddie Bracken. Also on TV, Grimes was originally selected to play Samantha Stevens, the witch wife part given to Elizabeth Montgomery in the hit sitcom television situation comedy, Bewitched, but was released from her contract when friend Noelle Coward asked her to star on Broadway as Elvira in High Spirits, a musical directed by Coward based on his play, Blythe Spirit. 1966-1967 were tepid years for the actress. After the Bewitched incident, she finally received her own ABC television series, The Tammy Grimes Show, 1966, in which she played a money-spending heiress but the show was not well received and dropped quickly, making it one of the shortest series shown in TV history. That same year she was featured in her first film Three Bites of the Apple, 1967, a diverting comedy starring British David McCallum and Italy's Silva Cassina that displayed her quirky talents, but it too made no impression on the public and pretty much put the bite on a leading lady career. Later she was sporadically and sometimes bizarrely featured into such films as Play It As It Lays, 1972, Somebody Killed Her Husband, 1978, The Runner Stumbles, 1979, America, 1986, Mr. North, 1988, Slaves of New York, 1989, A Modern Affair, 1995, and High Art, 1998. Grimes became the toast of New York when she appeared in a revival of Noelle Coward's Private Lives, as Amanda, winning her second Tony Award, this time for Best Actress. During her career, she also spent several seasons at the Stratford Festival in Canada. In addition to nightclubs, she has also recorded several albums of songs, recited poetry, and has hosted CBS Radio Mystery Theater. In 2003, Grimes was inducted into the American Theater Hall of Fame and later that year was invited by the Noel Coward Society. She later became its vice president, to be the first celebrity to lay flowers on the statue of Sir Coward at the Gershwin Theater in Manhattan to celebrate the playwright's 104th birthday. In 2007, the septuagenarian returned to the cabaret stage in a critically acclaimed one-woman show, An Evening with Miss Tammy Grimes, inspired by her late husband at the plush room. Grimes was married three times. First to actor Christopher Plummer in August 1956, 
by whom she had actress Amanda Plummer, who, like her mom, is also known for her eccentric brilliance. The couple were divorced in 1960. Her second husband was actor Jeremy Slate, whose marriage in 1966 lasted but a year. Her 1971 union to Canadian composer Richard Jameson Bell would be successful and last until Bell's death in 2005.